Hello and welcome back to the Pat Hipster channel. It's John and today I'm going to be doing a review of another product that I saw advertised to me on social media. Um, and of course it's something food related and this is going to be a beverage uh, review. Um, a beverage with uh, certain ingredients that may or may not trigger this video to not be seen by too many people if I mention what one of those ingredients is. Um, and that is what the opposite of a soft drink would be. So if you don't understand that, you're probably too young to watch this video. Anyway, the name of this product is called the Perfect Pour. And I have already taste tested these. I am going to do another taste test here on the video um, because it's been a little bit since I've had them. Before we get into the taste test, I just want to show you the technology, uh, the patented system of delivery for a beverage that this company has created. And the first thing I'm going to show you is this bottle. Uh, if you look at this bottle from a certain distance or at a certain at a glance, you probably would not see anything out of the ordinary about this bottle. It has water in it. However, inside of this bottle is a second bottle. And I have this thing that I'm just going to use to pour some random liquids out that I'm not going to be drinking. So this has one screw cap on top of the bottle. A rubber gasket that has uh, specific grooves on the inside so that it lines up with this cap on the inside which has a circular let me get that out for you full I'll show it to you after I get rid of some of those liquids in here so this is just water in water So the inside and the outside both pour simultaneously. Now there's still a little bit on the inside. Now it's empty. And when it's empty, you can more clearly see the bottle on the inside. And just if you're curious, this is about a cup and a half total. Um, the ratio of the bottle within the bottle is two to one. I believe it is a full cup of liquid that you can fit on the, this bottle. And one cup of liquid you can fit in this bottle. And notice I was able to pull this right out. This uh, cap actually is screwed into this cap here, this bottle. You screw that bottle in, close this bottle in, put your gasket on top of that, and then close the bottle with the top screw at the top. You won't we'll be able to see this probably in the camera, but there's like three, one, two, three um, additional rubber gaskets that are just rings that go around uh, these three there's two grooves on the side here and one fits right into the inner lip um, I think that's mainly so this fits in here snugly the two on the side and the one on the top kind of fills in a small gap between the cap and this other bottle and I think that's just so if it's moving around like this in whatever container it's at the liquid from the outside is not going to be able to go around the edge and then into the top cap where now you can see there's two sets of holes there's an exterior set of holes there's a ridge and there's an interior set of holes um, that's that allows and i'll open this up once more the back side you can see that inner part screws into the small bottle that 
So now, from that inner circle, only liquid from this bottle can get out. But there's space around it, so liquid can get through the other holes inside of this bottle. Now, when I was pouring it, you probably noticed that the exterior emptied before the interior. Um, and that is because there is a little bit of a learning curve to the proper pour of this. Uh, and if you learn that, then every time you pour, it will be a perfect two-to-one mixture. Um, so when I poured it, you, you need air to be able to come in as well as air to be able to come out. It's easier for the larger one. It's not as easy for the small one because there's a less... Uh, a smaller diameter of that circle. Now, put this one back together. I have another one. This one I'm going to hopefully do a little bit better job pouring to demonstrate something else. This, I don't know if you can see it through here, but I've colored two waters differently. And if you can't tell, the exterior water is blue. I have one cup of blue water, it has two drops of blue food coloring. And the interior, though it looks green through here, is actually yellow. And it's a half a cup of water with one drop of yellow food coloring. So hopefully when I pour this, into this cup, I pour it at the proper angle, which you kind of want to like pour so you can see the bubble of air able to hit the top of both of the bottles. I'm going to take the exterior lid off, I'm going to remove the protective gasket that separates them. I don't know if you can see the top of here, but there is like a drop of yellow right there. Might not be visible to the camera because the yellow is so yellow. I don't get color that pops very well. But we're going to take this, we're take this, and we're going to try to create the perfect pour. What we have here, it is sort of aquamarine. Let's try it again. I think I got it better this time. Yep, those ones poured almost exactly at the same time. And you can see this one is. More green. That one. And then, of course, mix all together. You got a big glass of green water. So, again, I'll open this one so you can see it's the same thing. A bottle inside of a bottle. Gaskets. This one, sometimes you can fit it just inside there. I like to take it out and make sure I press it into the grooves because this thing has grooves that fit inside of the ridge for this one. I think this gets a better seal if I make sure it's in there before I close it up. And there you go. So now let's open some fresh bottles. I have some fresh glasses with some ice in it. And currently, at the time of making this video, they have two flavors. They have margarita and this thing sour. Um, they just have like a little full strip of perforations on it that you can remove that. Top film of plastic. 
The margarita one is the one that has a blue top. The whiskey sour one is the one that has a yellow top, but then the cap is clear. Um, let's go ahead and try the margarita one first. Um, and if you don't know, the uh, mix flavoring is on the outside, and the other special ingredient is in the smaller one on the inside. I'm going to try to lift this one up before I pour it, just so you can see that they are different liquids. You can see that is pretty clear liquid there, and the liquid around it has a more green color to it. So what is the benefit of this? Oh, I'm not going to take that off. I'm going to pour some. What's the benefit of this over just like a bottle where they're already mixed? Well, I was not uh, really aware of this, but alcohol can denature other ingredients that it's in given a certain amount of time. So sometimes you'll see like a margarita mix or something that kind of looks really cloudy or even like yellowing and that's because whatever the juice is whatever the sugary watery substances is mixed into in this case tequila whatever is mixed into there over time it'll denature it and it'll change color and it could change uh, flavor as well with the perfect pour since they're separated the alcohol does not touch the mixer until it is in your cup. Let me get rid of some of that water. Now, let's go ahead and pour some. Now, the the hardest part to pour is, is the is the beginning part, I think. Once you get to the middle, you have enough uh, leeway to get that perfect pour angle down. Um, and then at the end, it's just, have you done a good enough job in the beginning so there's an equal amount when it's pouring towards the end. So I'm just going to give myself like a half a drink of this one. There we go. Pretty limey smelling. The uh, ingredients is... Premium tequila, triple sec, and natural lime flavors. There you go. That lime tastes like fresh lime juice. I love seeing when the beverage hits the ice, those like swirls where the ice is melting into the, the beverage. You get that agave aroma from the tequila. You see, the, the beverage is still relatively clear. Whereas, like a pre mixed margarita, um, you're probably going to get like a cloudiness in there or opaqueness. Mm. It's really tasty. And they say for each one of these, you get. Pours two doubles. I assume if it pours two doubles, then it can pour four singles. If that's a thing. Fresh glass with some ice in there. Oh, and they do say, well, this one does. This one does not. 
This one says shake before pouring. Maybe the ingredients in the, the whiskey sour need a little bit of shake. What's inside? Premium bourbon whiskey and natural lemon flavors. Um, patented protected dual chamber bottle separates the spirit and the mixer until you pour a time capsule for fresh cocktail. And that's really what it is. It is a time capsule for a pre-mixed cocktail, but it's not pre-mixed. You mix it as you pour. Oops. Well, this happened to me another time. One of the one of the gaskets kind of came off. I'll fix that. So there's no leaks when I pour it. Okay. So here, this is premium bourbon, and this is the lemon sour mix. And I'll move this back up there. Put that right up to the edge. Put that back down. Okay. That gasket reforms that seal on top. Okay, here we go. Time for the perfect pour for the whiskey sour. You really gotta keep an eye on the top of here. If you pour too hard or if you pour too softly, you're only gonna get liquid to come up of the, the mix holes and not the spirit holes. There you go, the whiskey sour. It has a lemony scent to it. But also got like a burnt corn kind of woody bourbony smell to it. Again, the ice cubes give it a little swirl into the, the water. It's good to taste. You can definitely taste that this has been freshly mixed because the lemon still has like this brightness to it. And again, very clear, not opaque. All the colors are the same colors that you should expect them to be. No off smells. It just smells like bourbon and sour mix. Also, not like heavily sweet like some pre-mixed things are, but like very enjoyable to drink. And these are both listed as 16% by volume. Um, I was impressed when I first tried these. Uh, it's been maybe a month or two since I've bought them and purchased and tried them the first time since I've done this video, uh, mostly because I was trying to do a, a dry January. So I had these uh, just chilling in the fridge since then. They still taste very fresh. They still have a good separation of flavors that only mix once you pour them whether you get the margarita one or the whiskey sour one you can also get a mix and match which is what I did it gives you two of each of the bottles um, and then once you are done with them 
you can do whatever you want with these bottles, really. Uh, fill them up with other things that you like. Um, you just got to remember it's a two to one. So whatever uh, cocktail you're going to make or bring with you somewhere, just make sure that whatever the mix is, you want it to be relatively two to one. Um, and then you also are limited to two chambers. Um, for for both of these, the middle chamber was was reserved for like that main spirit, um, whereas the exterior chamber was for the mix. And in the case of the margarita one, it actually had triple sec in that mix. And I think the, the thought process of that is a, a full-on spirit in the middle is more high proof, whereas triple sec is more of a flavored, sweetened uh, alcohol, so it's more like a liqueur. Uh, so since the alcohol level is much lower, it probably won't affect that lime juice like a, a straight spirit would. The whiskey sour one, I think it, the exterior is just a sour mix, a lemon, um, almost like looks kind of like lemon tea kind of color. But uh, you get your own bottles that you can bring with you. Um, and like I showed you in the when I first started the video, this one was just water and water. And it, to the untrained eye, you could probably fool someone into thinking that there's nothing inside there but water. So maybe if you were in a place where there's a restriction on what types of liquids you can bring somewhere, you're like, no, this is just a bottle of water. And if you're careful enough, you could even open it up and pour and make sure you're only pouring from that first one and, and not actually have water in there. And then you have a half cup of something else that's clear on the interior bottle. And you can bring whatever clear liquid you want in there. Or even you could get something that is a certain color and put something on the exterior that's either the same color that will hide it or in the case where I had the blue and yellow make green you can put some other colored substance on the outside that will react with the color of the interior bottle and make a different color and you could say it's something else entirely. But anyway, as far as I'm concerned, the perfect pour it's not 100% perfect. You do have to master the pour. You have to be paying attention to where the liquid is coming out at the time that you are pouring it and make sure that both the exterior and the exterior are getting liquid to come out. Um, so far it's only limited to these two flavors, but I assume they do well. More flavors will come out. Um, and then you can get this at www.perfectpour.co or at perfectpourco on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. It's a product of Downey, California. I tried to reach out to them and see what uh, companies they're getting their spirits from, and I didn't get any response from them. So if you know, leave a comment in the description of like, is it Patron? Is it Jim Bean? Or is it like their own proprietary uh, distilleries that they are making th these products themselves at? Either way, um, before, when I tasted it the last time, I did taste the mix and the alcohol separately. And it does taste like high quality tequila and high quality bourbon. And the mixes don't taste like they're chock full of like corn syrup. Um, there's probably some sugar in them, but uh, 
it's not like a really syrupy sweet and when you mix them and drink them it's not like a super sweet uh, cocktail at all anyway these definitely get my seal of approval even though they're not a hundred percent perfect there is a little bit of a learning curve to to getting them correctly uh, I do like the idea the patented technology that they're using here um, with the two bottles with the pour spout with all the gaskets to keep them separated it's a great product in my in my mind and I'll give it two thumbs up recommended by the fat hipster himself and then you get to keep the bottles and do whatever you want with them you could even just recycle them if you don't care that much but I'm gonna hold on to them for a little bit see if I find them useful if I don't find them useful within a year or so I'll probably get rid of them as well but I thought I'd give them a chance to see some reuse anyway I hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you've tried these leave a comment in the comment section below or if you've seen something similar uh, tell me about it. Maybe I'll, I'll try to find those and uh, review those as well. But that's it for the perfect pour. That's it for this review on the Fat Hipster channel. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.